John Willa. Recording to the PC has begun. Cloud recording has, has begun as well and streamed the good. Thank you. Back up is rolling. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for a vote on the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Cabrera. We are ready to begin. Thank you so much, Sergeant. Thank you for uh, what you're doing, everyone, and this team uh, has done uh, year after year. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. I am Council Member Fernando Cabrera, Chair of the Committee on Governmental Operations. I want to start off by thanking members of the committee who has joined us today. We've been joined by Council Member Diaz, Council Member Luis, myself, uh, uh, Council Member Dharma Diaz as well, Council Member Kalo, Council Member Yeager, Council Member Powell, Council Member Levine. If I miss anyone, please let me know. Uh, today, the committee will be voting on two pieces of legislation. The first is proposed introduction number 167B, sponsored by Council Member Al Alan Marcel. This bill will require certain agencies to be capable of issuing warnings for first time violations. As we all know, New York City small businesses have long struggled to remain in compliance with many regulations and requirements necessary to lawfully conduct business in the city. Recognizing this fact, certain administrative code provisions allow the enforcing agency to issue a warning in lieu of a citation for the first time infraction. Agency inspectors are not always able to issue such warning, however, because they lack the necessary equipment. Proposed introduction number 167B will fix this problem. The bill will require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, Sanitation, Environmental Protection, and Consumer Affairs and, protection, and Worker Protection to equip their inspector with devices is capable of determining whether a violation observed in the field is a first time violation and issuing a warning for such violation if permitted by law. This will ensure that in cases with the administrative call provides for warning, inspectors are actually able to issue those warnings in the manner provided for by the law. The committee previously heard this bill on Tuesday, October 19 of 2021, and I am glad to see it moving forward today. The second bill we are voting on today is proposed introduction number 1784A, sponsored by Council Member Ferrer Lewis. This bill will require the mayor to establish an office of not-for-profit organization services. This new office will serve as a liaison for not-for-profits in the city, helping them navigate city policies, procedures, and regulations, and connecting them with city resources and funding opportunities. It will also advise city agencies of measures to improve their programs and processes to better support the not-for-profit sector. The committee previously heard this legislation in October 2019, where we heard from many representatives for the not-for-profit sector. We are so grateful for the work these organizations do, tirelessly providing critical service to communities throughout the five, uh, five boroughs. And with that, I wanna thank Council Member Mycel and Council Member Lewis for the leadership on this bill. These are wonderful bills. And I also wanna thank our committee staff, the Dream Team, CJ Mary, Sebastian Baki for the work on this hearing. Finally, I wanna thank my own legislative director, Clark Pena for his assistance. I will now turn it over to my colleague, Council Member Ferrer Lewis to say a few words about her bill and congratulations again, council member. 
Thank you so much. And good afternoon, Chair Cabrera and members of the Committee on Government Operations. Thank you for the opportunity to lend my voice to my bill, Intro 1784, that will support one of the most important yet underrated and unrepresented industries in our city, which is the nonprofit sector. Nonprofit organizations across this city provide a vast scope of services each and every day. And in many cases, they're the lifeblood of underserved communities like mine. As council members, we allot funding to thousands of organizations to cover the needs of diverse communities ranging from housing, senior services, to street cleanups and youth programming. While this funding is crucial to ensuring thousands of human service workers employed by these nonprofits are paid equitably, it is but a fraction of support that they need to continue providing support services. One of the challenges that many nonprofit organizations face is balancing their day-to-day -day operations while keeping pace with the needs of New Yorkers during their time of need, which increased exponentially during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a city, we recognize that running a nonprofit organization is never easy, and it can be difficult to navigate the checks and balances in place. My bill, Intro 1784, is intended to provide nonprofit organizations with a liaison that can help streamline and the budgeting process from allocation to disbursement while bridging communication and information gap between city agencies and organizations working on the ground. By establishing an office of nonprofit services within the mayor's office, we are dedicating resources exclusively to provide the support nonprofits need to focus on providing transformative services for our communities. While this is not the end all be all of, of the plethora of issues that nonprofits encounter each and every day, this is a step in the right direction towards addressing some of the more prevalent and critical shortcomings within this sector. I hope we can all agree that this, that this will support an essential sector um, in our communities and that action must be taken now. Thank you again, Chair Cabrera, for this opportunity and members of the committee, and I hope everyone will support 1784. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Councilmember Lewis. And, and I want to tell you, having run a nonprofit for 33 years, uh, we, we needed this bill a long time ago, and it, it took your leadership uh, to put it forward, and now it's going to become a reality. And I know all the nonprofits will be celebrating, and in Thanksgiving week, I know they're grateful for this bill. And so thank you so much. And thanks uh, to Council Mayor Marcel as well, another timely bill. And so with that, now I'll turn it over to the clerk to call the roll. Matthew DeStefano, Legislative Clerk, Committee on Governmental Operations. Roll call vote on proposed intro 167B, and proposed intro 1784A. Chair Cabrera. I gladly vote aye. Levin. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Mizell. Yes. Powers. I vote aye. Yeager. May I very briefly explain my vote, Mr. Chair? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, just, uh, I, I vote aye on all. I just really want to speak very briefly on intro 167 uh, by Councilman Maisel. Uh, this is this is exactly the kind of common sense legislation that I've been talking about since I've been here for the last four years and before when I was running. And uh, my mentor and friend, uh, Councilman Maisel, uh, introduced this bill uh, January 31st, 2018, the first month of this session. Uh, it's actually a bill that I believe uh, had been introduced in the previous session of council uh, in 2014, although I, I may be wrong on the dates. Um, and this is, this is exactly what our council should be doing. It's so simple, it's so easy. Um, and it's one of the reasons that I unfortunately, uh, uh, in the view of many of my colleagues, have a high number of no votes because I frequently speak about that I will not vote for a bill that doesn't provide for the opportunity to give a warning before issuing the penalties. Here, we're actually legislating that where the statutes do provide for the opportunity for warning before penalty, 
we should enable the inspectors to actually do the, what the statute says. So Councilman Maisel had this wise idea many years ago. Uh, today, um, with just you know 40 or so days to go, we're passing it, and I look forward to tomorrow uh, passing it on the floor to council. Thank you so much, council member. Those are wonderful words. Appreciate. I know council member and myself appreciate those words. Dharma Diaz. Yes. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the bills have been adopted. Thank you so much. Uh, and with that, uh, we conclude today's uh, vote. And once again, members, thank you very much. Uh, coming up next is fire and emergency management.